integers and the target, return the index of the target. If the target does not exist, return the index it would belong into as it existed. So here I have 1, 2, 5, and 6, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 4, 6. Take a look at the targets. For the first one, 5 does exist, so the index of 5 is 2. The second one, the, the, the 7 does not exist, but I did exist it, it would be after 6 because it's a sorted array. And the index would be the last index of the array. The last index of the array. And then 5 is in between both of them. So, um, the, so the index would be uh, whichever index would be between 4 and 6. 1 at 5 existed. So let's solve this. So here I have a bunch of test, test cases to use. So let's, the first thing I would like to solve for is this use case here, 5, the last array, where 5 is in between 4 and 6. So uh, in between and exist. So I'm going to write a loop that solves the first exam, this one, and the last one. So we can say 4, let i equals 0, i is less than n, and i I plus plus and then we can say if array of I is less than or equal to the target and array of I plus one is greater than equal to the target return I plus one so what is this saying this is saying target here is 5. If 4 is less than 5, less than or equal to 5, and 6 is greater or equal to 5, return i plus 1. In this case, return the index of 6 because 5 would belong after 4. That's what exactly what this is doing. So I'm going to test this out. It's going to solve the first three. The first, the last two is going to give you undefined because this, uh, this, this loop is not enough to cover these, these use cases. So let's see. N is, oh, n is not defined. That's fine. I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking n is defined. n is the length of the array. There we go. Uh, awesome. 2, 3, 5. So what is this? So the first one is giving us index of 2. Because 5 exists. 5 is right there. The second one is giving us index of 3 because 5 is in between 4 and 6. 0, 1, 2, 3. So 5 would belong here. So it's giving you index 3. The third one is index 8. is giving you index 5 because 8 belongs between 7 and 9. So now we have to take care of the, the, the other two use cases where um, the target is, bef is the first element and the target is the last element. In that case, this is... Um, pretty simple so first element so all we need to do is just say if target is less than or equal to array of zero so that's the first element we're ret it's returning zero because it's the first index and then the last element we say if target is greater than or equal to array of n minus 1, this is the last element, return n. So in this case, 18 is much greater than 9. It's the last element. So it will return the last index. 18 would come after 9. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Output should be 6 here. Output should be 0. So let's test it out. Awesome. There we go.